All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learn something, leave a comment, hit that like button, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. So today, back in Tableau, and going to do it a little bit uh, different today. Uh, I put together this training dashboard that is jam-packed with a number of techniques. So if you're a newbie and just kind of learning Tableau, uh, you're going to find this aspirational. If you're intermediate level, then this is going to be a good idea generator. So stick around either way. I'm just going to go through the functionality on this, uh, this dashboard. And as I do that, uh, I want to ask you a hypothetical here. I want to ask you a question. Uh, I, I value the uh, the opinion of my subscribers here. So um, if I were to personally spend, uh, let's say, two to three hours with someone teaching them how to put this together, um, what do you think would be a, a fair offering uh, price for that instruction? So again, this is uh, not a video, just out there um, that you're going to follow. This is personally working with me answering questions if you're a newbie uh, or even intermediate. So I want you to think about that um, as I step through some of this uh, this functionality here. So uh, at a minimum, this is going to be a good idea generator for you. So let's take a look here. This is Superstore Data, and it's 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 doctored a little bit. I made a little bit of a tweak. So this is a budgeted profit. So this is telling you um, profit versus budgeted profit. Um, we are 12.1% profits are 12.1% higher versus budgeted profit. So that budgeted profit field is a field that I doctored. Uh, I changed the uh, default Tableau field because uh, the numbers, I didn't like the numbers. So this is Superstore data with, with a tweak here. So... Um, Number of techniques, so let's talk about parameters, right? So you can see this is very parameter driven. So I have profits, when I change to budgeted profits, you can see uh, things change, all the titles change. If I go here to sales, right, those titles change. Discounts, titles are changing. Let me go back uh, to, to profits. So this is very parameter driven. Um, also here, this segment or ship mode, right? Your KPIs. So KPIs is a technique as well. And even the formatting here on these arrows is its own uh, technique. So again, multiple techniques in here, uh, parameter driven, uh, filtering, right? So if I select California, you can see uh, my values change uh, on my charts. There's New York um, and there's even context filtering. So when I select a state here, Utah, Right, you can see these are the top five uh, cities by profit in, in Utah. If I select Texas, you can see those top five change. That's a technique in and of itself um, through the use of context filters. And I have a video on context filters that you can check out uh, that shows you how to uh, apply them uh, in, this, in this situation. So that's a technique in and of itself. Uh, highlighting, right? Highlight actions. So as I select California, you can see, right, it shows me the profit. The bars represent the profit. But then there's also a ranking in there as well. California, New York, you know, Florida, Georgia, right? Highlight actions. I'm highlighting that, uh, that value on this, on this bar chart here. And obviously, when I select a different parameter, right, uh, I get different different highlights. So highlighting, that's that is a a, a different technique. Uh, let's talk about container swaps. So there's two ways to do container swaps. Um, you can do it by uh, by button image, right? So add show, right? If I want to, let's say I wanted to see Rhode Island, right? I really care about Rhode Island. It's kind of hard to do, right? Because you know it's 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 in here. It's Connecticut. It's next to Connecticut. All right, so so I get it, and you know there it is. But when I switch to my shape map, right there's Rhode Island. Very easily, I can select it, no problem. And that's a technique in and of itself. Shape map again, multiple techniques in here. 
if you are a newbie, if I saw someone put together this dashboard, I would say, wow, they have a really good grasp of, of Tableau. So there is, I would think, value in learning how to put together something like this. Uh, what else do we have? I said context filters. Oh, the reset all filters button. So if I select, let's see, I'm going to go back to Cal, going back to Cali, LL Cool J. Um, and let's say I select a year. I don't only want to see 2017. I can hit the reset all filters. That is going to clear the filters. So that is a technique in and of itself. Um, parameter swaps, right? I'm swapping, I'm sorry, the chart swap with parameters, right? We can call it parameter swaps. But you can see as I select my parameter here, I get different charts, right? How cool is that, right? That's a technique in and of itself. So we got a bullet chart and this is a dual axis chart, right? This is all uh, uh, budget versus profit, right? Bar and bar. That's a technique in and of itself. Again, many useful techniques in this, uh, this dashboard. And I hope I'm giving you some good ideas if you want to try and put together something like this. What's really cool, though, um, you can see, so it says profit versus budgeted profit on the bullet and on the bar and bar. And then when I go to the combo, that budgeted profit, trending by budgeted profit, is going to change based upon the parameter that I select. So again, dynamic titles. Another technique, you've seen the animation, right? I've turned on animation uh, in Tableau. That gives us that, that cool effect. That's a technique in and of itself. And then finally, just laying this out on the dashboard using containers, right? So we can go take a look under the hood. You can see, let's see, let's, uh, nothing here is really tiled. Now it looks, right, all it is is, you know, I have, um, so that's uh, so that's the show hide. So that's a floating on top, but I have one huge vertical and let me close up some things here. You'll see I have a horizontal up top, a horizontal here, uh, a vertical, a blank here for the line effect, another horizontal and two more horizontals here, right? Two horizontals at the bottom. That that looks fairly easy to follow, right? But there's a technique to that. I mean, again, I use the Curtis Harris technique, one of my favorite Tableau videos of all time. Uh, this is a technique in and of itself. So again, just wanted to show you this dashboard to give you some ideas on something you can put together um, if you are intermediate. And if you're a newbie, again, if you knew how to put this together, um, people will say that you have a fairly good grasp of Tableau. So um, all I'll say again is I want you to think about, again, if, if I were to work with someone one-on-one, -on -one, let's say two or three hours, um, what would be a, um, you know, a, fair, a fair price? What would be the value of that? So leave a comment with your answers. Again, um, I appreciate your input, uh, subscribers, uh, people watching on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Again, this has been Anthony Smoke. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.